Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you uh, the flip through of my Tim Holtz uh, ideas journal. So the um, signature has been sewn in. As you can tell, it's already pretty thick alligator mouth, but I'm so glad I made these. So now I can still add lots of um, ephemeras in here and it will still close. Uh, I made um, a little, uh, I covered the spine with this uh, fabric, same fabric as the, the cover. So it turned out well, I'm quite happy. So let's look inside. Um, this one, uh, I, it was too heavy to put on one of the pages. So I decided to put it in the uh, cover of the journal, which works perfectly well. With the stamping uh, and the inking, this page came out really, really, really uh, good. I like it. For this, I've also left room here to add a tag if I wanted to. So this is cute as well. This was the snippet that I made, and it's open, so more room to add things here. I, I really enjoyed doing my pages with this. This was, I'm gonna probably do this again, I, I like that. You know, when you have heavy cardstock, it's a good way of doing this. For my uh, flip tag, I it's this is the one here, so it's going in on top of the um, the page, the top of the page tag. Uh, for the little file folder. It was also heavy with the uh, magnet, so I made a pocket here, and I've got gussets on both sides and the bottom, so it goes in very easily. And I used a cardstock uh, page to do this, so it's nice and sturdy. Uh, this is a coffee stained paper, and I added on before I coffee stained it I added some digi stamps which I really really enjoy doing it fills up your pages it's nice so as you can see I still have lots of room this was the envelope um, pocket and I still have to make myself a tag to go in here A lot of blank pages. Another digi stamp on coffee dyed paper. This tag I glued down to this page because I thought, well, I made it to go with this page actually for the, the red, so it matched very well. Another digi stamp. For this tag, I didn't want to glue it down because it was, you know, I like the back as well, and I used my uh, the Tim Holtz um, um, from the fabric, and so I made a pocket for it, and it works very well in here. This one I glued down. And you've seen all the uh, the flip through of the ephemeras I made. So if if some of you are new, you can go back and you'll see all the ephemeras. I explain all the ephemeras that I've done. I also made a pocket here for this tag, which has a pocket here. For this one, I just used a uh, paper clip. 
for this trifold. I don't know if you remember, I made this trifold here. And since it wasn't supposed to be for this journal, it was for something else, but the colors didn't turn out perfect for my other journal. So I decided to use it for this one. It works well. This I used just a, a little clip to keep my tag in here. And this was the tag that I made with Tim Holtz tissue paper. And we're at the end. And I glued the other uh, big ephemera here, and which holds a little tag here, a tag here. It's a pocket which I use an envelope and I've got my little goodies in here so that's it guys I really enjoyed making this journal and uh, this was a uh, and you know it's not finished every time I'm gonna see something right now I saw uh, Tracy Fox and Corey doing their paperclip uh, mass paperclips so with the leftover scraps that I have, I'm probably going to do, be doing some um, paper, paper clips to go in the journal. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little flip through and um, I'll see you next time. Keep well. Bye.